Welcome to Matins at Emmanuel Lutheran Church of Thomasboro, Illinois. Matins can be found in the Lutheran Book of Worship on page 131. We will use Psalm 98, found on page 262, and we will sing hymn 270, Lord of our life, all glorious Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm, has he won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy. Righteousness shall he judge the world, 
sing to you a new song, for your victory is ever new. In the empty tomb, you have given us a glimpse of your future, and in your victory over death, you have shown us how we shall overcome the last enemy. As the sea roars and the hills sing together, we too will praise you for your great triumph, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Hymn 270, Lord of our life, all glorious Lord. reading from Exodus, the 19th chapter. On the third new moon, after the people of Israel had gone forth out of the land of Egypt, on that day they came into the wilderness of Sinai. And when they set out from Rephidim and came into the wilderness of Sinai, they encamped in the wilderness. And there Israel encamped before the mountain. And Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him out of the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the people of Israel, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my own possession among all peoples. For all the earth is mine. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak to the children of Israel. So Moses came and called the elders of the people and set before them all these words which the Lord had commanded him. And all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord has spoken, we will do. And Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, Lo, I am coming to you in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with you, and may also believe you forever. Then Moses told the words of the people to the Lord, and 
the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their garments, and be ready for it by the third day. For, in, for on the third day the Lord will come down from Mount, upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. And you shall set bounds for the people round about, saying, Take heed that you do not go up into the mountain or touch the border of it. Whoever touches the mountain shall be put to death. No hand shall touch him, but he shall be stoned or shot. Whether beast or man, he shall not live. When the trumpet sounds a great a long blast, they shall come upon, up to the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people and consecrated the people, and they washed their garments. And he said to the people, Be ready by the third day. Do not go near a woman. On the morning of the third day, there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mountain, and a very loud trumpet blast, so that all the people who were in the camp trembled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, the first chapter. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus the love which you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before the word of the truth, the gospel which has come to you, as indeed in the whole world it is bearing fruit and growing. So among yourselves from the day you heard and understood this grace of God and truth, as you learned it from Epaphras, our brother, our beloved fellow servant. And he is a faithful minister of Christ on behalf, on our behalf, and has made known to us your love in the Spirit. And so from the day we heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding, to lead a life worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son.